Now, my good wife, Gayatri, is a filmmaker of some note now, and she's embarked upon a series of small films on uh, four minutes. That's all they are. Don't go away. Four minutes. This one on hypocrisy. Take a look at it. It's January 2020 and China has imposed a lockdown following the outbreak of the new virus, COVID-19. The rest of the world is still asleep. Brutal, authoritarian, tyrannical, the Western media cry. Fast forward three years later, January 2023, China relaxes its lockdown, removing almost all social distancing requirements making domestic and international travel far more convenient. Now the very same Western media denounce China again. There's a word for such fork-tongued fake news narratives, hypocrisy. But hypocrisy is the bread and butter of British and American media when it comes to China. Having caused the deaths of a million Muslims in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Libya, they're shedding crocodile tears for Chinese Muslims whose human rights they continue to lie about, even in the teeth of evidence to the contrary. Who are you going to believe, me or the evidence of your own lying eyes? They spread baseless fears about TikTok, Huawei, as supposedly a backdoor for Chinese intelligence gathering. They've even accused your light bulbs and your refrigerator of spying on you. But thanks to Elon Musk and his Twitter files, we now know that it's American intelligence that's not just coming through your back door, but your front door and every one of your windows. 